There are a number of advanced features for iMovie that can help me refine my video production. For example, say I want to grab a particular image or a photo, create a photo from a spot in the video. To do that, select the video, then just swipe up at that point, right where the playhead is, and it will immediately create a still image, a photo, if you will, from that point in the video. I can then take that, drag that around if I'd like, and move it someplace else. Maybe I can't. There we go. Drop that in the beginning, maybe to create a little introduction piece. If I'd like to add, you'll notice that my intro pieces here have gray lines. There's no audio whatsoever in them. If I play it, it will just be a silent movie. Maybe I want to add some audio there. I can click on my microphone icon on the right-hand side. That will open up a recording option, option for audio. If I click record, welcome to my video. I hope you like it. If I hit stop, got some options there. I'll just accept it for now. Now when I play it, welcome to my video. I hope you like it. You can hear the audio play over that. This blue that's activated blue, the waveforms, shows the level of audio within a particular clip. The nice thing about that now is this audio that I created I can move around. I can also adjust the levels by double clicking on it. I can change the volume, make it louder or smaller, softer. You can see the waves increase or decrease as I do that. Or if I want to turn it off altogether, you can click on that and just turn it off altogether. We'll leave it on for now. Put it back roughly where it was. In addition to creating audio, there's a lot of special effects options. If I click on the little musical notes, I see sound effects. I can add some different sound effects to my movie, and they'll play when I hit the movie as well. I can move these around as I'd like to, and overlay them to a certain degree. One of the things we haven't talked about yet is themes. I can also add theme music to this by going back in my auto music. I can add theme music, and I can choose music from the different themes that are prevalent. This will give a background of music that plays over. I can adjust the volume to that too, make it softer or less as I would like. This ties in with the general option of themes up here. The themes determine the background music, they also determine the transitions, and they determine the way the titles display within a movie. You can play around with these to try different ones, and you can change them at any time in a project. If you'd like to add titles to your movie, it's relatively simple to do that. They're added to particular clips. Double click on a clip, double click on a clip, and you will see a title style. You've got some options. Opening basically adds the title with the location as well. Middle gives you a different option, and ending, of course, puts it over there. You can use these interchangeably. Let's just create one. We'll call this. And we're done. I haven't selected a location for this video yet, so the option for location isn't available yet. Lastly, occasionally you'll see video that gets shot in the wrong angle, or someone will start shooting a video at, in one way on their phone, then they'll turn their phone, and what you end up with is video that's completely sideways within iMovie. If for some reason you want to, if you want to fix that, you just take two fingers and twist, and that will turn your video sideways. We obviously don't need it here. So I'm going to put that back the way it was. Those are some more advanced features of iMovie to help you create better looking professional projects.